For almost every major event in history, a conspiracy theory seems to be attached. There are countless conspiracy theories, but one of the most popular and persistent ones relates to the authenticity of the Apollo moon landings. Such theories claim that some or all the elements of the Apollo program conducted by NASA were faked. To prove whether or not the Apollo landings did occur, many folks suggest using high-powered telescopes to look for signs of the landing on the lunar surface. But would that work? Theoretically, yes, but practically, no. It would take an incredibly powerful telescope to see signs of moon landings on the lunar surface. And even the best telescopes we have today are not remotely powerful enough to capture the clear images of such telltale signs. Pick any of the Apollo missions and do an image search online. You will see that the landings left quite a few imprints on the lunar surface in the form of small blast craters and human footprints, as well as multiple artifacts, including the American flag, the base of the lunar modules, and moon rovers. Some of these visual signs are obviously too small to be observed from a telescope back on Earth, but others are comparatively larger, and thus more likely to be observed. However, the size of these pieces of evidence is not the issue. The more powerful the telescope, the more easily it can differentiate and produce images of two objects in close proximity. In technical terms, we'd say that telescopes have a high resolving power. Whether or not an object in space can be seen through a telescope depends largely on the size of the lens or mirror being used. Based on a resolution power formula, calculations show that the smallest thing the Hubble telescope can see must be at least 96 meters in size. Now, let's look at the sizes of the artifacts that were left on the lunar surface during the Apollo landings. The American flag measures four feet in length, so you would need a telescope at least 200 meters in diameter. The Hubble telescope, with a paltry diameter of 2.4 meters, would be extremely ineffective in resolving the American flag. The lunar rover's length is 3.1 meters, so it would take a telescope at least 75 meters in diameter to spot it. Another element, the lunar lander base and the landing gear, is 9.5 meters across, and would still require a telescope nearly 25 meters across to even barely represent it in a single pixel. Clearly, using the Hubble telescope to view signs of the Apollo landings is totally out of the question. But even the biggest optical reflecting telescope we have back on Earth, with an aperture of 10.4 meters, wouldn't be able to resolve the imprints of the moon landings. Now, many scientists, academics, and astronomers across the world have come forward against the moon landings were a hoax, conspiracy theorists. Furthermore, the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, a NASA robotic spacecraft currently orbiting the moon, has already captured many images of the landing sites. To conclude, yes, it's theoretically possible to observe visual signs of the moon landings through telescopes, but with the technology and telescopes we have today, all you'd see are a bunch of dots if you tried looking at the lunar surface for clear proof of the landings.